Howdy, it is Monday, June 22nd, 2020. And I was gonna show you around what we got going on in the garden this year. Elizabeth cleaned up this area a little bit and planted a couple things. They're staying alive. Um, ooh, there's a dragonfly buzzing around. Over here, I tried to put a melon in the ground. Oh, it's a little bumblebee here. Um, and I also put a couple seeds in the ground, and a couple of them sp sprouted. This one is doing okay. This is the transplant. It is not doing okay. It's not very happy, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this is our primary tomato box. We've got a lot of different ones in here, maybe about five different types, and uh, they all got kind of mixed up when we planted them, so I'm not sure exactly which type is which until we start to see the fruit. Um, they're all doing good. We're doing a couple different types of stabilizing. Elizabeth wanted to try this string method where you do strings across and and then we also got a couple stakes here and then in the back I got my I do a, a, a taut line hitch up here and then I do strings up and down like this and then you can sort of wind the string on the stem and uh, that sort of keeps it upright very very simply and um, and I've been trying to prune them, trying to keep the branches off of each other, and um, they're doing okay. We got we got some flowers here. We got what else do we got? We got a couple little fruits starting to come up here. There, there. Um, yeah, doing good. We got marigolds, sort of interspersed. Elizabeth painted this guy. I forget what type of flower that is. And we got some peppers. We're trying. We're trying to grow peppers. Um, not doing great, but they're alive. Over here, planted a couple little watermelons, and they're they're alive. Um, and we have some cucumbers. We're trying to grow some cucumbers over here too. This guy is doing actually, he's pretty good. I'm doing the same thing over here where I have a taut line across here and then I'm winding the cucumber up the string and it's doing good. Um, we got another one here. I've seen a couple flowers on here. See, we got a couple flowers. So far, only male flowers, I think. I haven't seen any female flowers yet. So, no fruits yet, but this one I do know the type. It's uh, called a Tokiwa. It's a Japanese uh, cucumber. And over here we have a, uh, it's called a tender green burpless cucumber. I think this one is also a Tokiwa. They are doing much better than the, the tender green. This guy, this is a collard plant that I planted last year, and we just, it survived the winter, and it had a lot of flowers in the spring, and Elizabeth wanted to keep it for all the flowers, so you see these flowers, and it started to go to seed. And uh, we liked the taste of the green so much that we wanted to save the seed, so we are just gonna let this thing, um, Stay here, and then when the seeds are start to drop and the seed pods are are done, we're gonna save all the seeds. It is starting to rain. Let's see how how much it rains. I don't know. We got a lot of rain, and it filled up the rain barrels that I installed here. And these rain barrels are basically full. I have four of them, 220 gallons of rain barrelage. But it is coming down. So I'll just stand under here under the deck. And I'll talk about what we're doing over here. We got 
some cucumber, uh, no cucumbers, we got um, some, some pole beans. See the pole beans up there, three pole, uh, pole bean things. And we have some uh, tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Elizabeth planted some zucchinis in the front over there. And over there we got, I think, that's a broccoli. We planted a whole bunch of stuff in that box over there. And some of it came up, some of it didn't. We still have a couple uh, carrots. The carrots were doing okay. We grew some bok choy over there, and the bok choy did it very good. It was a purple, a purple bok choy. I think next year we're going to plant a whole box of that, just that bok choy. It was just so tasty. And let's see, there's some cabbages. You can see the cabbages. There's some cabbages over there. And what else? I planted some bush beans because I wanted to try bush beans. Which are similar to the pole beans, but they uh, grow in a bush. These pole beans, by the way, these are purple uh, pole beans, purple potted uh, pole beans. And these are the bush beans are a type called dragon's tongue bush beans. Very, very uh, I like the speckle, the purple speckles. And these are just solid purple, but they turn green when you cook them. It's very interesting. Well, and it is starting to come through the deck, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside and finish this video. Briefly.